I realize how lost I still am in this whole post grad journey. Mm. Took a chance on a good thing. Yeah. Now I got you on my right way. It's Monday, so I'm off to work, but before work, I'm gonna go to a cafe and grab coffee with a friend. I'm probably work from there for a little bit because I don't have meetings until later this afternoon, and I honestly don't like spending my entire day inside of a building, so I like to change it up, but I'm running a little late, so I'm gonna put some pep in my step. Days in the office might seem like a turn off for a lot of people in the post COVID world, but I literally went through college on a computer so having human interaction no matter how small it is at my little startup i do enjoy my days at the office talking to my coworkers, and getting some more work done in a setting that feels a little bit more like third place even though it's a work place I'm in the office alone. I know. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know where everyone went, but I went to a different room to do a meeting and now I come back and no one's here. I think I'm gonna work from home for the rest of today. I just realized my fucking camera is broken. This screen is like detached from my camera. So I think I have to pick up some duct tape to fix it when I go back home. <laughs> like it's not standing anymore. <gasps> Must admit, it's been a few, you know, longer work days. I did bring home a project tonight because I've been leading a few at work, which is really, really exciting. But I try not to work at home because it's like my safe space, my relaxing space. But I really like what I'm working on, so I didn't mind it today. And Kevin came over and cooked dinner, so I didn't have to worry about that. So it wasn't too bad of a day. Really busy, but good busy. Anyway, this is gonna be our dinner. Probably gonna watch the new Avatar show to wind down. Cheers and good night. Good morning, everybody. It is like 6.30 a.m. and I am headed to yoga. to have breakfast and work from home today because there's simply way too many things for me to do so I decided to leisurely eat my breakfast instead of rushing and getting ready and so that I can just start on work at my desk which is what I did for a few hours before lunch it's, again it's been a busy few days so this was better for all the calls I had and for the projects I'm working on
cheers. I feel like they're not as good as the noodles, but kind of good. What I've been noticing with my good days post-grad is that I tend to end the day really, really reflective. It's kind of odd because this morning I even posted about it today. Like having yoga be the first thing I did today was really restorative and really nice. I, I was kind of digging it. Like my energy today was really good. I was really focused during my work today. I was so focused that I got so much done earlier, but I feel like I worked all day at the same time. I don't even know how to describe it, but also it stays like this where by the end of the day, I realize how lost I still am in this whole post-grad journey. It's almost March um, as I'm filming this. It's like the last day of February and it's baffling that my college years have almost been a year behind me. Like I finished about a year ago because school finished mid-April and I went on my spring break early March last year that I never shared and I was planning, uh, I wasn't really planning, but Kevin was planning our trip to Asia in the summer. So the fact that that has been already a year is crazy to me. And on top of that, I'm doing something that I didn't, didn't plan on, like my day job and how things have been going in New York City was not what I expected at all. I didn't really have expectations, but I didn't really have a plan either. All I knew is that I'd be in New York. And I guess I have that, but everything else that has happened since I've gotten here since last May has been quite interesting. And I don't really know where I'm going with this monologue. As I was editing the video before this, I was just seeing how my weeks can be so different from going to event to event to like being super inspired to being more alone and also hyper reflective at the same time. I think it's hitting me that I am really post-grad. Uh, it's been almost a year. I have a day job, which I wanted so badly. So I am doing the things I wanted to do, but at the same time, like given that I've been doing YouTube for so long and I've had pr like the privilege to pay for college and go to school, I feel like I should either be further or pursuing something a little bit more risky because I have the time to right now and I've always done something more risky. I think to different people, my path might seem traditional or risky or not risky at all, but I'm having a hard time, I think, forming my own opinion on what I'm doing. Does that even make sense? I know there's no right answer to how you do post-grad and what job you take on and there's no perfect life post-grad because everyone's confused. Um, but I think I'm overwhelmed by the possibilities of what I could be building and doing at the same time. I have friends starting clothing lines. I have friends still in school. I still didn't take a traditional route, but at the same time, I feel like I can take more risks. And at the same time, I feel like I could have done something even more stable for myself to invest in my future financially or to wow my parents or to feel more secure. You never know. The grass always seems greener on the other side and I'm speaking this as I'm thinking it and I don't really know if I make any sense, but this is kind of like what an audio memo would sound like from me if I texted you. I'm gonna go to bed now. It's, I, I woke up so early and it's so late. Good night. <laughs> As I was reflecting last night about how good of a day I had, I like had a feeling that today would start off kind of weird. I didn't sleep very well. I couldn't go to bed very quickly last night. I still have many hours in my day and I think it'll be fine. I'm just a little tired and the quality of sleep really threw me off. But yeah, I'm gonna work from home, finish up a lot of work today, and hopefully I get to edit some tonight because it's the last day of February. And I really, really, really wanted to upload a video by now. So I think I'm just beating myself up for that when I keep seeing like the end of February videos and like the leap year videos or photos on Instagram. So that was mistake number one of the morning. I picked up my phone when I woke up today, which I don't, I try not to do. So I changed into a t-shirt and I already feel 10 times better in my more youthful outfit. I don't know if this counts as youthful, but I feel a little bit more my age, so.
I used to let bad mornings or bad starts to my day ruin the entire day, but I'm trying my best to turn my day around with all the hours that I have, and this is your sign to do that as well. You can turn around the mood in just an hour or less, so try your best to do things you like. And after work today, I already had planned to work at a cafe with Faith, so I had something else going on to change my mindset a little. doing work with um, Faith at a cafe, but my friend sent me a package from Boston. This is from Sasha. I feel like I know what this is. <gasps> oh my God, she literally sent me a care package. Wait, I wanna read this card. Sasha. Why she get, sent me this package is because we've been looking for this specific Hello Kitty plushie forever and we couldn't find it anywhere. And so we've been both trying to find it. She knows I've been actively looking for it. And so here's the Hello Kitty that we've been looking for so long. It's so cute. It's the angel, um, dreaming angel Hello Kitty on a keychain. So this will go in like a bag or something. Sasha, you win. This is so cute. So I got these and I got this one. I had her help me buy this because I really wanted this Hello Kitty Year of the Dragon um, because I'm the Year of the Dragon and I love like the lucky red. So I got this little cute Hello Kitty plushie. She, she, I, bought, I bought these from her. So I told her to get them for me because I can't find them in New York. <laughs> up the phone so I called her while I was cooking dinner and tonight I'm making beef anoki and beef cilantro roll rolls in some stock um, I'll link the recipe and I think I say this again later but I normally try to cook without my phone but it was nice chatting and doing something while I was at it and I honestly never thought I would have a friend that knew me so well or friends in general that get me the way I get them so I don't know it was a sweet moment and it felt like I was back in Boston for a hot second so Thank you to Sasha and this warming meal. Okay, taste test time. I haven't made this in a little bit and I'm really excited. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. But so good. This is a really easy recipe. I'll link the one that I use. I, get, I think I used the one roughly inspired by Tiffy Cooks. I usually just, I like kind of don't remember it anymore, but I started making this from one of her easy cooking videos. So I'm pretty sure it's hers. I'll link it. I do it with enoki and then I wrap some with cilantro cause I love beef and cilantro. Um, but yeah, you can do as you please in whatever you have in your fridge. It's another rainy Saturday in New York, so what better way to spend it than indoors? And today I had Kiana over and we did a fun little creative shoot at home. cutest photos here are some polaroids so cute it is 
it's raining quite a lot right now, but we're still going to try to be productive and hopefully better for the seats. I intentionally chose a bright and yellow cafe to go to on a rainy day to finish out this exact video actually and it definitely helped my mood. Their pastries are really cute so if you're looking for a new cafe to work at I love butter doughs in New York City but this exact video is being done and I think a change of environment is a great way to be more productive or to try new habits because I spent a lot of time alone and at home so I came here with Faith again to finish out this video. I just did as I'm recording this but I ended my weekend by grabbing some Malaysian food for dinner with Kevin this is one of his favorite spots and I've grown to love it as well so we got our usual and spent the weekend pretty chill before the start of a new week and I think this is my ideal night I also stopped by Target at the end of the night to grab some essentials but not really I I 